Welcome to another video guys and girls. Today we're going to be looking at nine tips on how to find the best cycle routes. The reason I'm creating this video is because Hans commented on another video asking me how do I find the best cycle routes which got me thinking how do I find the best cycle routes. So let's jump straight in and the first thing I want to actually mention is there is a difference between creating routes and finding routes. And in this video, I'm gonna be specifically looking at how to find the best routes. Now think about how well you know your local area and how you know the routes. Now there is someone like that for each area. So the clever thing to do is actually to find that person who has already found the best routes. And then you can just copy their routes essentially. So number one, find other people's routes on Strava. So you wanna to navigate to your Strava and then you can simply click on someone's ride. So let's click on Malafla's ride here down a lunch ride this will take you to the ride where you can see all the details and what you want to do is click on these three little dots over here on the left so click on them and you want to click on create route what that's going to do is take you through to the route editor at this point you can edit the route in here or you can simply click save and then download the gpx or fit file and upload it to your editor of choice number two if you're local to london check out the routes.cc website there's loads of great routes on there so navigate to the routes.cc website, then simply scroll down and you'll have your filters here. You can adjust these and as you adjust them, the routes are gonna adjust automatically below. So once you've added your filters, scroll down, pick a route, click on that route, and then up here on the right hand side, you can download GPX file. Once you have the GPX file again, you can simply upload that to a route editor of your choice and adjust it to your needs. Number three, find websites where routes are listed. For example, cyclinguphill.com. I do have a full video on the Cycling Uphill website. I'll link that in the description, but right now I'm just gonna give a quick overview. So simply load the website and then hover over Cycling Uphill here in the navigation and then click on the 100 climbs list. What this is gonna do is give you the 100 greatest cycling climbs in the UK. You can see them all on the map here. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see them all in the list format. If you click on one, that's gonna take you through and give you more information. If you scroll down, you're gonna find the Strava segment, so you can just click through and open that up in Strava. You can find where that is on the map, and then you can create a route around this specific segment or this specific climb. Number four, use popular route search functionality on platforms like Strava or Garmin Connect or Ride With GPS. They're really extensive, and here is how. I like to use Ride With GPS. So on Ride With GPS, simply load the site and then click Find up here in the main navigation. And that's gonna load this search. Change with the starting distance. So we wanna start within 10 miles of London, for example. Let's do that. And then you can change the length, elevation, etc. So if I click Search, what that's gonna do is show me all of the routes on Ride With GPS that are within 10 miles of London. Obviously, you can click through and look at the actual route. And then once you have the route, again, you can either save this route or edit this route in your preferred software. But it's a good way to find routes that people have already done. Maybe they've already found the best roads. Number five, use Strava Segment Explorer. Now, if you search a location, you're gonna find the most popular segments, which is a good indication that those roads are pretty decent. Log into your Strava and then come up here to explore and you're gonna see Segment Explorer at the top. So let's go ahead and click on Segment Explore. Now you can see on the map we have different segments. Now popular segments are gonna show up. So if I just come up here and zoom in, let's go towards Epping Forest, you can see roads that are ridden a lot or segments that are ridden a lot. Now, if there is a road that appears here, there is a high chance that this is a popular segment, which then means it's a popular cycle route and is a good indicator that that road is a good road to ride on. So once you've found the route that you like, there are a few things you can do to make sure that it is the best possible route. So tip number six is to use Google Street View. Now, if you haven't used Google Street View before, you're about to be blown away. So navigate to Google Maps and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is find a road that is part of your course or part of your route. So I'm just gonna come up here and I'm just gonna zoom in on a random road. And then what I'm gonna do is come down to the bottom right corner and you can see this little yellow man, browse street view images. So I'm gonna click and then you're gonna see the roads have a blue line. So what we can do is drop this man on any of these roads that have a blue line. So I'm gonna drop him here. 
And what that's going to do is show us what that road is like at street level. So we can see that this road is perfect. You can click and that's going to let you explore the actual road itself. So you can have a look all the way down a road. Now what I normally do is drop this little man at various points in the route. So you can come up here and click back and then I might drop him up here. Maybe I'm going through this road so I can drop him here and I can see what this road is like. Now this is actually a really important step because you don't want to be riding on huge roads, you don't want to be riding on roads that are really bad or gravelly. So do check this feature out in Google, it's great and helps you find the best roads possible for your route. Tip number seven is to use a heat map. Now heat maps are great to see what roads are popular and what roads are ridden on most. I use Strava's heat map and here is how. So navigate to the heat map website. And then what you want to do is search your location. So I'm going to search London. And that's going to take me to London. Now what you're seeing is a heat map. So any of these roads that are bright and glowing are the roads that are ridden the most. Any roads that obviously aren't glowing are roads that aren't ridden much at all. Now don't be fooled because obviously this is central London. So a lot of people commute on these roads. So do bear that in mind. So what you want to do, maybe zoom in to this area, the countryside in North London. And I can see here, for example, there are these roads out here that are white, they are glowing. So these roads are ridden often. So this is a good indication that these roads are gonna be great to cycle on. So what you can do is compare these roads in the heat map to the road you've actually got in your route. And if you find any roads that look better on the heat map, you can just adjust your route to make sure you have the best roads possible. Tip number eight, think about your fueling. No one wants to run out of water or food. Especially if you're in the middle of nowhere, it may be hard to find a shop. So do just bear that in mind when you're looking through your route of how many stops you may need and where those stops are. Tip number nine, an important one, be honest with your ability. If you're used to just commuting to work five, 10 miles a day, then taking on a stage of the Tour de France is probably not the best option. Agreed? Agreed. Lastly, I'm going to end the video just by saying the route is not the be all and end all. There are external factors that can affect your route, such as road closures. You may have to do a little detour and don't be afraid if that happens. At the end of the day, it's one big adventure. So just enjoy the route and enjoy the ride. Now, if you found something helpful in this video, do smash the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the little notification bell as well, you'll be notified when a new video is released. Leave a comment below if there's certain videos you want to see. I'll be more than happy to check it out. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.